Hello, this is Tarna from Island Girl Resells. Today, I purchased this tub um, from a local auction for $800, and um, the tax was around $34. Um, today, I'm going to be going through it, and hopefully we can find a few good items that will cover the cost. And then I'm also going to be sorting through it and sending items to my sister um, so she can list them on her Poshmark. Okay, so I guess we can start here. See what we got here. Visa watch. It's actually pretty nice. Um, I believe it's stainless steel. So after getting this item, what I would do is type in diesel. Um, and then the model number and then completed listings on eBay and then um, look for comps and then I will s list this item um, um, the lowest at a buy it now and I will um, put you know accept offers so that's pretty neat so diesel watch and the model number is DZ slash or dash two one three eight. Only the brave. And I'm sorry if you hear um, construction works working. Um, the neighbors are building a house. Okay. So we have this watch. It is a Seiko. The model number is two nine. 1596. Looks like I'll have to put a battery in there. That's pretty neat. Okay, then we have Pedre. I'm not quite sure if that's how you pronounce it. And it's a silver dollar, the leather band. Back says genuine silver dollar back. I'm sorry, uh, genuine silver dollar coin, stainless steel back. So this one's neat. I'm not quite sure what I'll price this at. It's a nice one. Since we're on watches, I guess we can continue on the watch. I believe this is a gas watch with a leather band. This one um, I think would be good on Poshmark. And I can't really see the back, but um, I'm not going to pry it right now, but that's pretty neat. Let's see what else we have. A Swiss legend feels like um, ceramics. Um, it's missing part of the band. The back says Swiss legend identity high grade ceramic. Um, don't really see a model number, but I guess that's a model number. This is really nice. So what I'll do is I'll go on eBay and then type in Swiss Legend and just this model number and then go to complete listings and see like what they sell for. That's pretty nice. That's heavy. 
the, here we have a Pulsar watch and the model number. Um, I have a, I get a lot of these and a lot of Fitbits, a large collection of those. And here we have a Timex. It's not on. Retail is about forty dollars at Target. It's pretty neat. I guess that would be a good Poshmark item. Here we have a Fitbit. Model number is FB503. Just a costume. Let's see. Little costume brooch. It's another. Can't really see what that is. That's really, really dirty. This item I, I wouldn't really list on eBay. I would just sell it in like a, a jewelry lot. Here we have a sharp. Um, body temperature, blood oxygen, blood pressure, heart rate monitor notification. Looks like it sells for around $30 at Ross's. And it appears to be in good condition. So I'll put that with the watches. And here we have a Marc Jacobs watch. Marked by Mark Jacobs, and over here it has the model number. So I would type into eBay, Mark Jacob watch, um, and then the the model number and see what this item sells for. I'm just gonna grab the watch. What do we have here? I'm not quite sure what that is. Let's put that to the side. A BBG watch, Casio. Um, um, the model number is 3408. So for this one, I would type in eBay, or on eBay, Casio, and then the model number. Oh, I'm sorry. Casio and the model number, and then um, completed listings to see what the item actually sells for. Okay, let's see what we got here. Um, I don't see any brand names on it. So I'm just gonna put this one to the side. Here, um, got a Michael Klein and Michelle. Hmm. I'd have to look this one up. I'm actually not really familiar with it. here Beverly Hills Polo Club um, I'd have to look this one up I, I don't think it's worth that much okay. 
here we have a baby G. Casio watch. Scrub this one really good. The model number is 500. Oh, I'm sorry, five, five thousand. <laughs> That's pretty neat. I'll have to look up that one, see how much that goes for. And here it's a VTEC VTEC DX2. I'm not quite sure, I never had one of these watches. Kids watch. Kid kitty zoom. So I have to look that guy up. Trying to get to the watches first so we can kind of go through that, but I think pretty much got the top layer. Just a little costumey. Infinity. That'll go into lot, lot jewelry here. Here we have another kids watch. I tech. Okay, so I think that's all the watches. I think that one's special. Okay, so hopefully we find something very, very, very good in here. So here we have a dirty Fitbit. The model number is... Okay, let me get my jeweler sloop. number is FB502. So I'll put that in my Fitbit pile because I sure come across a lot of Fitbits. There's another watch. Not quite sure what that says. have this watch. I think it says Seiko Skyler, Skyliner. This one's pretty nice. Stainless steel. And it looks like a seahorse in the back. That's pretty neat. Um, I'll have to look this one up because I um, haven't seen this one before. Okay, more watches. Wow, this jewelry is so dirty. Unlisted. Kenneth Cole production, so I'll put this one in the pile to be researched. Just like a watch band. Lost jeweler's loop in there. So here's a sterling silver bracelet. Looks, looks hammered. Looks really small. Trying to find watches. Here. 
here we have a Amitron watch. It's pretty neat. I'll have to look that one up. But I believe it's around a $20 watch. Wow, what do we got here? Some cloisonne beads. So we have a multi-strand necklace, clo green cloisonne beads. It's really pretty. Go we'll put this one on eBay or Poshmark. I'm not quite sure. Oh, what do we have here? V e n e t i. I A E. Mm, not quite sure about this one. I'll have to look it up. I believe it's probably about a twenty dollar watch. More watches. Amitron. So I have to look up this model number. Forty slash eighty two eighty four. So I'll see how much. Resell for 